Before going further, it is going to be important to have two things installed on our computer. The first thing is the software, such as Photoshop, which is this software I'm using myself. Photoshop is not a prerequisite though. You could go ahead and have GIMP or Krita installed. They are both open source software, meaning they are free. And beside a few interface differences, each of them are similar and will give you all the tools necessary to follow along. That being said, I'll be using Photoshop myself. If you wish to follow along easily with me, I suggest considering Photoshop as it is also considered the industry standard. But I'll make sure to give you each link below this video so you can have a look to each of them and make a clear educated choice for yourself. The second thing is a tablet. Now personally, I'm using your Wacom Intuos Art. I've been using Wacom my whole career and I personally like their product. But you could go and buy any kind of tablet that fits your budget. The tool doesn't make the artist here. If you are on a budget, you could go on eBay and find a secondhand tablet. At the end of the day, any relevant software or tablet is good enough to start your artistic journey into the world of digital painting. Even if you have a tablet, such as an iPad, for example, you could use Procreate, which is a software, to follow along. I'll make sure to give you all the links necessary below this video so you can make your choice. Once you have a software installed and a tablet, I'll be waiting for you in the next video to teach you the basic navigation so we can start painting together. And that's it for this video, guys. If you want to make sure to not miss anything, go and click on the subscribe button right there. And if you are ready to learn how to do digital painting, you can click on the video right below me and we'll start learning together.